Muslim communities in the UK have been urged to remain vigilant as counter-terrorism police investigate anonymous letters calling on recipients to attack Muslims. This weekend, people in Bradford, Leicester, London, Cardiff and Sheffield reported receiving the notes printed on A4 paper. The letters say the 3rd of April will be Punish a Muslim Day and points will be awarded for certain acts of violence, from 25 points for removing a woman's headscarf to 500 points for murdering a Muslim. Are you a sheep like the vast majority of the population? The letter reads. Sheep follow orders and are easily led. They are allowing the white majority nations of Europe and North America to become overrun by those who would like nothing more than to do us harm and to turn our democracies into Sharia-led police states. Counter-terrorism policing Northeast said it had received reports of potentially malicious communications sent to individuals across the UK. A spokesperson said, we are coordinating the investigation at this time and will consider any potential links to existing inquiries. Anyone with any concerns about a communication they may have received should contact a local police force. Tell Mamauk at Tell Mamauk Punish a Muslim Day, we continue to receive reports of letters received from across the country. Now into double figures. Please report them into us at Tell Mamur at 101. We are working with police forces on this malicious campaign. Pig.twitter.com slash 4BPH2RVBCV March 10, 2018 Naz Shah, the MP for Bradford West, said some people in her constituency had received the letter. Understandably this is very distressful, not only for those who have received the letter but also for the wider communities, she said in a statement on Facebook. I would appeal to the wider community to remain vigilant and report any suspicious activity to the police. The charity Muslim Engagement and Development MEND said it was horrified by the letter. It said the letter had clearly originated from a disaffected section of society, but had to be treated seriously, as it may very well get into the hands of other like-minded people who are looking for a prompt to act. It said the letter was symptomatic of a recent rise in Islamophobia. We call upon the government to take Islamophobia as seriously as other forms of hate crime, the charity said. Mend called on imams and community leaders to advise people not to be scared by this act and to go about their lives as usual. It said, if you receive this letter, please try to limit the amount of handling of the letter to preserve evidence and immediately report it to the police and men's Islamophobia response unit. Iman Atta, director of Telmama UK, which monitors anti-Muslim activity, said the letters had caused quite a lot of fear within the community. They are asking if they are safe, if the children are safe to play outdoors. We have told them to keep calm and to phone the police if they receive one of these letters, she said. Lib Dem councillor in Bradford, Riaz Ahmed, told the Yorkshire Post that he had received the letter to his business address. It was not addressed to anyone, just the address and postcode as if it was sent out randomly, he said. It has a second-class stamp on the plain white envelope and the frank mark is Sheffield. It was posted yesterday. It seems strange that anyone would send something like this to an address in a predominantly Muslim area. When I opened it and saw the content I was horrified.